just saw the three presidents of the Jewish Music Forum, forum performing. <laughs> we now have a short intermission. Please make it short. His invitation to a song and love feast with you, his audience. Here he is, the folk singing rabbi, Shlomo Kalbach.
Shalom, my friends. Shalom, shalom. Good evening. Good evening, friends. Shalom. Glad to see you. Um, you know, friends, according to Chassidus, a person can have three kinds of relationship to God. One is as God's uh, servant. One is to be God's child. But above all, the greatest is to be God's friend. Let's say God has very few servants, very, very few children, and maybe no friends. But this is only during the week. But on Shabbos, on Shabbos, on Shabbos, on Shabbos, on Shabbos Every little Yiddale Becomes again a friend of God And you know my most darling friends The difference between a son and a friend A son cannot give advice to his father Or at least it's a little bit hard but a friend can give advice very easily. So Shabbos morning, Shabbos morning, we are giving God advice how to put the world straight again. And this is what we say. And friends, please join me. We are telling him, who will I can who we know, who mal can who my she know. We are telling him, God, it's true, it's true. You are my God, you're my king, you're my only, only friend. But we who yash me ainu brachmov shenis. But please, God, listen to me. You have to talk to us one more time, just one more time. But this time, we. to be there you know friends <clears throat> when God spoke to us on Mount Sinai it was very beautiful but it's only us little Yidalach who were there that's how the world looks like so we are telling him please God speak to us one more time just one more time but this time we are begging you let the whole world be there please God let the whole world hear you you know, friends, the story is I hope and I hope and I hope That sometimes in your dreams you are dreaming Oh, when you dream that you are dreaming I hope you go back maybe 150 or 200 years and you meet your great great grandfather sitting somewhere in Poland or in Russia in a shtibale in a little synagogue. Shtibale, there's nothing like a Klein Shtibale. Because you know, believe me, my friends, in all those big synagogues, you can put on all the heat in the world. But really warm, it's only in a shtibale. 
So listen to me, my darling friends. And this clan Stibale, old Chsidim were sitting and talking to each other. You know, today people talk at each other, but talk to each other, gewalt. Happens very seldom. So Chsidim Lach were talking to each other, and one of them says, What did the Holy Baal Shem Tev teach us? What did he really teach us? Because whatever he said, we knew before. Didn't we know you should love God? Didn't we know you should love the whole world? Didn't we know you should always be happy? Didn't you know that really you should dance on the streets of the world? So what did he teach us? So one little hospital. Maybe it was your grandfather. Maybe it was mine. And he said, we knew there was one God, but we didn't know it really is so. But here came the Holy Baal Shem Tov, and he taught us it really is so. It really is so. What a teaching. And you know, my friends, you know, my friends, on Mount Sinai, God taught us there is one God. God. God told us don't steal, don't kill, keep the Shabbos holy. But this isn't enough. There has to be one more voice telling us it really is so. And as far as I'm concerned, God's teaching is coming from Mount Sinai. But the voice telling us it really is so is coming from Yerushalayim. Let it be tomorrow, join me. Let's go, let's go. friends, uh, I, I just spoke to the two beautiful cantors and I told them, you know, they're really not fair to me, you know. They have such tremendous voices and Ich Schmendrickel come here and sing. And it's really not fair to you and not fair to me. But I hope you bear with me. You know, the most important thing is not that whatever you do should be the best in the world. The most important thing was that whatever you do should be the best you can do. So, that's what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I have to tell you the truth, you know. For me, for me, it's now 3 o'clock in the morning, you know. I went to sleep and I got here this afternoon, 4 o'clock, and I woke up and it was like someone wakes you up in the middle of the night and say, hey, listen, you know, jump. No, what can you do? Anyway, please bear with me. You know, friends, I'd like to sing you an old little Chassidish melody. And, uh, you know, friends, most of us have forgotten the holiness of Shabbos. A lot of us, we even forgot the laws of Shabbos, what to do on Shabbos. But even more so, the saddest thing in the world is if you forgot what Shabbos is, You know, believe me, friends, uh, and I mean it with all my heart, if you could only get back to a Shabbos de Camille, 
Not just sit together. Some people think if you have uh, soup and if you fish Shabbos, that's a Shabbos stick meal. That's not even a Wednesday meal. A Shabbos stick meal, it takes more than a filter fish to make a Shabbos stick, you know? Because maybe Moshe, the water carrier, never ate filter fish in his whole life. But what a Shabbos stick meal he had. And maybe he had nothing to eat, but he had a Shabbos stick meal, you know? Believe me, if you could get back to one little Shabbos stick meal, you know? Then parents and children, Israel and God, God and the world, will become one again. But you know what I'm thinking the most? That we forgot the holiness of the third meal. Maybe some people at least eat gefilte fish Friday night. But the third meal of Shabbos, before Shabbos leaves. You know, friends, when do I know how much I love somebody? Not when I say hello to them, but when I say goodbye to them the way I say goodbye to them. And you know, my most darling friends, if I ever see my friends again, it's only because I said goodbye in such a way that they have to come back. If I want Shabbos to come back next week, it is only because last Shabbos, at the third meal, I was begging the Shabbos, please come back. <clears throat> I'd like to sing for you, this is not my own song, it's an old, old Rishna Nigen for the third meal of Shabbos. And please join me. You know, everybody knows that the third meal of Shabbos you eat in darkness because there's a different kind of light shining. And there's a saying by the Holy Baal Shem that the third meal of Shabbos we eat when no light is shining because the light of the third meal is so strong that it reaches the darkest corner in my soul. Darkest corner. So join me.
sing a little Mojitzenigen. This is, you know, uh, I'm sure most of you know about Hasidish music, but the greatest, 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 I'm sure the cantors will agree with me, that the greatest living Hasidish composer today is the Mojitzer Rebbe in Israel. He lives on Dizengorf 36, in case you get there, you got to be there for Shabbos. Let me sing just a little part, you know, Mojitz composes long, long melodies, but let me just sing a little part from Hallel. And again, you know, I wish I could take you there, you know. But you have to imagine, you know, and, and Israel is really, it's really good. And it's not, it's just a little place. But when the Rabbi Davin's Halle, you know, I'm telling you the walls are singing. Because everybody can sing with their throat, you know, but to make the walls sing, you know, that's... Well, I'm telling you. The walls are singing and the floor is jumping, you know, I'm telling you. Join me. I Don't hold back any good ha harmony. Ta da 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 Oh, I saw it all. 
da 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 One string is already broken. 
And you know, Chassidim say that there's nothing as whole as a broken heart. You know, a heart which has never been broken is just a machine pumping away. Ay vey. Uh, am I too close or too far away? I'm too close? I'm too far away. Wait, wait, I think maybe this is the one. Hello? No. Oh, the, this one? No, I think this is the one. I'll give you this one, brother. <laughs> but I tell you what, can someone fix the mic a little bit? Hello? Ah, oh, why don't you say so? So, Yidalach, where were you all this time? Were you sleeping or something? <laughs> Leave it up to my Yidalach. They ate and they went to sleep and they come to Shul to continue to sleep. Because I was wondering what they're doing here in the rain, you know? <laughs> anyway, yeah. We're not in tune, that's worse. Um, ah, now, it's really good. Okay, Shalom Aleichem again, friends, Shalom. Wollt ihr gelaufen in die Gassen und ich wollt geschrien Schabbat Join me wenn ich wollt gehabt Koyach Wollt ihr gelaufen in die Gassen und ich wollt geschrien Schabbat Oh, it's Shabbos, 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 Ayoyim Lashem. Oh, it's Shabbos, Ayoyim Lashem. And I'm sure you understand Yiddish, but just for all cases it means if I would have strength, if I would have courage, if I would be at my right mind, if I wouldn't be such a shmendrik like most of us are, then I would run around all the streets of the world, all over the world, and I would yell, Shabbos, Shabbos. I sing it once more. When ich wollt gehad koya, wollt ich gelaufen in die Gassen, and I wollt geschrien Shabbos. Oi, Shabbos, 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 Ayoyim Lashem. Oi, Shabbos, Ayoyim Lashem. So friends, I was thinking all the time, I gotta make a little melody to yell Shabbos, Shabbos. And I still hope I'll make a better one than the one I have now, but let me give you the one I have right now. You know, friends, we had a little wedding in my, my chaver in San Francisco. Maybe some of you know, Malkele and Neman. And the wedding uh, was a Shabbos Dicker wedding, you know, Shabbos Dicker children. You know, the question is not how Shabbos stick are you on Shabbos, the question is always how Shabbos stick are you on Wednesday, you know. How much do you remember Shabbos on Wednesday? Anyway, so, you know, Shabbos, we say, Yismechube Malchuscho, who really wants God to be God? Shoimre Shabbos, those who are waiting for Shabbos. The people who, you know, can't wait till Shabbos is over, deep down they think, you know, what do I need God for? You know, he's going on my nerves. I wish he wouldn't be here Tell me all the time what to do, you know. But the people who are waiting for Shabbos can't wait to taste the holiness of Shabbos. They really want God to be here. And the Koira Einek, they are the ones who really live in great bliss. A lot of people live and they never tasted life. They never tasted the sweetness of a minute. They never tasted the sweetness of seeing another human being, another little dog, a little cat, a little flower. Anyway, this is my song. Let me first sing a little bit of myself, and then you'll get into it. Yes, <laughs> 
I should be singing by myself because otherwise you won't get them in the whole thing. Shimre, shimre, shabbos, shimre, shimre, shabbos, shimre, shimre, shabbos. I make I day, I neck shimre, shimre, shabbos, shimre, shimre, shabbos, shimre, shimre. Shabbat I make I day I neck Ta la 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 Ta la 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 Ta la 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 Ta la la Ta la 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 Ta la 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 Ta la 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 Ta la 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 Shabbos Allah Listen, friends, I want you to know something very sweet. You are singing very sweet. I mean, who am I to tell you? But I want you to know, if you want to sing like Chassidim, you have to sing just crazy. Because the Chassidim were the one... You know, I tell you, friends, I tell you something very strong. A fool is afraid to be foolish because he'll be caught, right? But a clever person doesn't mind to be foolish. So, you think I'm a fool? Okay, Maltov, who cares, you know? You see... You know, friends, the first thing, if you want to be a hospital, you have to be completely crazy. And I want you to yell Shabbos, not like uh, at an executive meeting you say, you know, Shabbos, okay, we let it pass. You know, I gotta yell Shabbos, about, you know. Okay, let's go. Hey, la 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 la, Shabbos, la 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 la, Shabbos, la 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 la. Ay, 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 ay,
never ends, right? We'll sing it again later. I just wanted to teach to you. I was just waiting for some real, real Siedemlach to be crazy enough to get up to dance, but I guess they weren't crazy enough yet. I'll give them another chance. Wait, half nicht. Okay, friends. I gotta share a story with you which I'm telling all over the world. And I'm sure some of your friends heard me telling it, but it's such a good story. The story is, the story is. You know what's so beautiful about our generation? That we're coming back. We're coming back. You know, if someone talks to you about Jewish survival, like, Somebody asks me, do you think that Judaism has a chance in America? You know, all those crazy kind of talk. What are you talking? We're so hungry. We're waiting. No, it's good, but it's just... Yeah. Am I right? I think so, yeah? Good, yeah. Okay. Shh. You know what our children need the most? We also, but sometimes we don't, we don't agree to it. We need a rebelle. We need a rebbe, a soul master. A soul master. How can you live without a soul master? Can't live without it. But you know, it's so sad that some of our kids never think that we Jews never heard of a soul master and they have to go never to India or somewhere else to find out. We Jews never lived without a soul master. And if we didn't have soul masters, we were dead Jews. But anyway, we all are looking for Rebelach again. And Rebelach are growing all over America, all over the world. Little Rebelach. Someday there'll be big Rebelach. But the story is that Raber Shulish Bitzine, when he was 17 years old, he was looking for soul master, was looking for Rebbe. And you know, you need not any Rebbe will do. There has to be a Rebbe, part of your own soul. Someone you can trust your soul with. And he was looking, he went to so many Rebbes and it didn't turn him on. It wasn't there yet. So then he heard that this Shabbos, Rab Shloimelech Shanewe, the Holy Shanewe is coming for Shabbos. So he was waiting, the Holy Kshana will be there for Shabbos. And everybody knows that the Holy Kshana was, was a, a friend and a fellow student of the Holy See of Lublin. But he wanted to make himself a sign if he could be his soul master. So you know my darling friends, Ishbitzin is a little town, little village. And Monday and Thursday was a marketplace, it was a market. There was one little Yidale, Chatzkele, the Träge, Chatzkele, the Porter. And Chatzkele, the Porter, could hardly read and hardly write. But his soul was so holy and so pure. And imagine on Thursday, Chveis Chanale would buy 10 pounds of apples. But she can't carry 10 pounds of apples. She would say, Chatzkele, do me a favor, can you carry the 10 pounds to my house? Then Chatzkele, Holy Chatzkele, the Träger would come and he would say, Chanale, tell me the truth. Do you think maybe you'll eat some apples on Shabbos from the apples I'm carrying? And she would say, yes, sure, I'll, I'll eat a few apples on Shabbos. He says, oh, that's so good. He says, that means I can carry the apples, Lekovic Shabbos, and the honor of Shabbos. We would lift up the apples and he would yell, I carry the apples, Lekovic Shabbos, in honor of Shabbos. But even on Monday, if someone would buy potatoes, 
he would say, do you think you'll still have some potatoes for Shabbos from those potatoes? They would say, yes, we hope so. Oh, he says, oh, that's so good. That means today is only Monday, but I can carry the potatoes, the COVID Shabbos. And he would lift up the potatoes and he would yell and the whole world would shiver. The angels definitely would tremble and he would say, I carry the potatoes, the COVID Shabbos, I know of Shabbos. So the truth is, the whole town was laughing at him. But he, Beresh Lishbetzina, knew if there was one Jew in town, it's Chatzkele the Träger. He's the only Jew, the real Jew. So he decided, when Rabbi Shloimelech Shanova comes, everybody will shake his hand. If he'll stop by Chatzkele the Träger, then he is a rabbi, he is a soul master. But if you just say hello to him like everybody else, then he doesn't know. So you know, can you imagine an Ishbetzin, Ishbetzin Friday night? All the Yidalach came to the Besmedrish to Daven, and Rabbi Shloimelech Shanova was dancing to greet the Shabbos. Shabbos was real, you could touch Shabbos with your bare hands. And then after the davening was over, Everybody ran to shake hands with Rabbi Shloim Lekshanova. And Rabbi Shloim Lekshanova shook the hand of every person. There were two people left on the side. Chatzkele der Träger, because he was too humble, he thought, maybe he won't even shake my hand. And Rabbi Bershlisch Bezine, because he was waiting. How Rabbi Shloim will treat Chatzkele der Träger. So Rabbi Shloim Lekshanova sees two people are still standing. He calls Chatzkele the Träger. He takes his hand and he closes his eyes. He says, what is your name? He says, Rabbi, my name is Chatzkele the Träger, Chatzkele the Porter. And Rabbi Shloim Lekshanova says, tell me, don't you have another name? He says, yes, jokingly, people call me Chatzkele Lekovic Shabbos. Ay. Holy tears came out of Rabbi Shloim Lekshanova's eyes. He says, Chatzkele, what a name you have. What a name. He says, Chatzkele, what do you know? And Chatzkele says, Rabbi, I know very little because my parents died when I was young and since I'm four, I have to earn my own living. That's why I carry everything. But I know one story, but I just know the beginning. I don't know the end. Rabbi Shloim Lekshanova says Tell me the story Chatzkele the Träger begins to tell the story Long time ago, long time ago There was a little Yidale Avraham Avinu, our father Abraham The whole world was on one side, pagans Avremele was on the other side But he was stronger than the whole world He had a son Yitzchok and he had a son Yaakov His children went to Egypt to assault his slaves God took us to the Holy Land Then we went into exile And Chatzkele says Whenever I'm heartbroken, whenever I'm sad, I remember I'm the grandson of Avram Avinu, who was alone in the world, he was so strong But then, sometimes I'm thinking, I don't know the end of the story, we are still in exile Rabbi, tell me the truth, what's the end of the story? And Rabbi Shloim Shanova
in Reb Shleim Alek Shalewe Zed Chatz Kaled et Chege I will tell you the end of the story I will tell you the end of the story If you will teach me how to carry life Le Kovit Shabbos If you will teach me how to carry everything in the honor of the great Shabbos to come And I will teach you the end of the story That the whole world is only there Le Kovit Shabbos And you know my darling friends This is a true story Because Rabbeer Shlishpitzina wrote a book And in the foreword he writes a story And he says I swear in the name of heaven and earth That Chatzkele the Träger went with my holy master Rab Shleimelik Shanewe And I also swear by heaven and earth That Chatzkele the Träger became one of the Lamed Wolf Tzadikim One of the 36 holy hidden people Who are upholding the whole world Tira la 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 Ta la 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 Tira la 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 Tira la 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 Tina la 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 Tina la 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 Tina la 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 Tina la 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 Let's go up too. Listen friends, I know it's late, but we cannot leave without dancing just a little bit. And can I ask you friends if you are a little holy 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 chatzkalach who can dance in the honor of Shabbos on, 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 on Tuesday, Wednesday, till the end, till the great Shabbos. All of your friends, can you please really... You know what it is. If you carry your years in the honor of Shabbos and you're always young, if you carry your years in honor of Wednesday, you're old before you're born. Friends, let's go. La 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 la
Let's go. Fire, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, Shalom. Come close, kids. Let's get together. Shalom. Shalom. I Shalom. I Um, I'll tell you what, friends. I see that so many beautiful, holy, holy carriers and holy trägers got up to dance with us. Um, I want to tell you something. You know, I just came back from Vienna and I cannot not give you regards. Listen, friends, this is very, very important. If you can give me two seconds of your time. I'm giving, bringing you two kinds of regards. First of all, I was in Vienna. You know, uh, I played in uh, it's, it's like the biggest hall there, it's called Concert House. And I don't want to say their names, but during their occupation, this was their big thing, all the things going on against us. And here comes the little Yidale like me, and is standing there, and it was mamish packed with Jews and non-Jews, and I was singing, The only city is Jerusalem, the only decent place is Israel. It was like gewalt, you know? But anyway, the next morning, I want you to know that the Russian people, the Russian holy Yidalach, and they really carry the whole world like Kovach Shabbos. The refugees, when they arrive, they come to Vienna, and then from Vienna, they go to Russia. So I was privileged to play yesterday morning, just yesterday morning, for 400 people who had arrived from Chernovitz. 400 holy little Yidalach, the holy of holiest, I was privileged to play for them and others oh, they're so sweet you know there is no sweet is not enough this is one kind of regard but now I want to give you a way out regard this is way out you know two weeks ago two weeks ago I gave a concert in Marseille and if some of you are a little bit uh, uh, in the airline business you know that from Marseille to Paris if you fly you arrive in Orly, but from Paris to Brussels, you have to go from La Bourget, the other, the other airport. So I'm arriving in Orly, and I want to go to Brussels because I had a concert that night. So they tell me the next flight leaving from here to Brussels on Middle East Airline. Mazel tov. <laughs> okay, you know, so I just really didn't know what to do. On one hand, I thought, you know, anything you don't plan is from heaven, right? If you plan it, how do you know it's from heaven? If you don't plan it, it's from heaven. Got to come from somewhere, right? Anyway, so I didn't know myself. Should I or shouldn't I? So you know what? You, if you don't know what to do, Chassidim say, you ask a fool and do the other way, you know? I'm walking around on the airport and I say to a few little not so clever people, I say, do you think I should go Middle East? They say, are you out of your head? It's very dangerous. Ah, I said, that means I should go. <laughs> but to be honest with you, you know, I feel more, to be honest with you, when I go on El Al, I feel more safe than I go on Middle East, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm boarding the plane, you know, and uh, I didn't even sit down yet. And the stewardess, a very, very, very sweet girl, comes to me and she says, what are you wearing on your head? 
So I got up and I said, if you ask me already, I have to tell you, without hurting your feelings. First of all, I'm a Jew. Second, I bought the yarmulke in Yerushalayim. Third, as far as I'm concerned, you're my sweetest cousin. And fourth, oh, why did you come with me next Shabbos to Yerushalayim, you know? Maybe, maybe it will bring peace to the world. I want you to know this was a real, real beautiful little Arab girl. So she says to me like this. I gotta answer you back, she says. As far as I'm concerned, you're also my cousin. And as far as I'm concerned, I wish I could go with you to Yerushalayim. I want you to know it was a very holy moment because of, according to the world we are supposed to kill each other but we really was so much love in the air so I said to her, listen to me if you are my true cousin you have to come tonight to my concert in Brussels there's no two ways about it so she says to me would you like to invite maybe the captain also? I said, sure, I'll be so happy to invite the whole crew anyway, to make it very very short I want you to know that within a few minutes the captain came to greet me and, and the engineer and the other stewardess and the host <laughs> and it was Mamish Agewald I'm telling you it was Mamish Agewald and they all promised to come with me that night to my concert not only they promised to my concert goes without saying they all gave me their addresses because I promised to send them my record to Beirut and uh, <laughs> 